Eyewitness Sports right now. Herkimer and Ariskany girls varsity basketball both played their first game of the season tonight. The Magicians played at the Redskins in a league game to start the year for both teams. Early in the game, there's some back and forth until Taylor Smith gets the ball beyond the arc, drains the three. The first points of the game make it 3-0 Herkimer. About a minute later, Ariskany with the rebound and Aaron Ham with a long pass. Sophia Tagliaferri receives the ball, takes it into the paint and up for the layup with the foul. She missed the free throw. It's 6-3 Redskins. Then midway through the first quarter, Mackenzie Buck with a spin move and she gets the basket. She totaled 10 points in the game, 8-3 Ariskany now. And shortly after that, Smith with the ball on the left side this time again nails the three. She led the Magicians with 15 points. And now final seconds of quarter one, a long two misses. Battaglia Ferry right there for the rebound and puts it up for two more. She led Ariskany with 13 points. A strong first and then third quarter for Ariskany wins the Redskins the game, 49-40. Other games tonight, Sequoia Valley and West Canada Valley girls basketball played in a non-league game. West Canada won 57-24 after leading 13-1 after just the first quarter. Westmoreland beat Morrisville Eaton on the road 48-31. Madeline Enos led the Bulldogs with 12 points. Utica College women's basketball played at Hamilton College tonight. The Pioneers came in with a 5-2 start to the season for the first time in 12 years. That's since 2007. The Continentals came in tonight 6-1 this year. But the non-conference contest was not close at all. Hamilton outscored Utica 28-12 in the first quarter alone. It was 53-23 at the half. Hamilton wins 92-53 final. Empire 8 Conference leading scorer Sydney Perzigoda was held to just 5 points for UC. Casey Zarl led Hamilton with 21 points. In professional sports, the Utica Comets look to bounce back from two straight overtime shootout losses in a row from this past weekend. Tonight, Utica played at the Bridgeport Sound Tigers for the second time in three games. The Comets come away with two points tonight, though. Utica wins 6-3. The Comets scored three power play goals. That's half their goals tonight on the power play. Utica came in with already the fourth best power play in the AHL. Now probably even better. It was the third time, uh, this, the first time in six matchups between these two teams that they did not go to overtime. The high school soccer season ended last month, and now that the regular season is over and sectionals and state games are also behind us, the girls varsity soccer all state teams and players of the year have been announced. In Class B, Central Valley Academy's Riley Rich has been named Co-Player of the Year. ZVA head coach John Acoston has been named Co-Coach of the Year. In Class C, Little Falls' Gabby Silstra has been named to the All-State First Team. Unitigo head coach Sue Herodes has been named Coach of the Year. And in Class D, Poland's Riley Wishart and Leah Basil have both been named Co-Players of the Year. And Poland's Amanda Sweet joins both of them on the All-State First Team for Class D. And Poland head coach Tom Basil has earned Coach of the Year after bringing his Tornadoes team to a state title, riding an undefeated season. For the full list of all state teams, check out cnyhomepage.com. For now, that's all for sports. Be sure to check out cnyhomepage.com for your top sports stories. This is my witness news after the break. So stay friendly and stay tuned.